Hey everybody, welcome to another crop strategy. Uh, real fast, if you have any type of uh, crop strategy you use or want to see me play it out, please PM me with the detailed uh, description of it and I'll get it into the works and we can uh, practice it out here on the table. Uh, another quick mention, if any, if any of you into uh, craft beers or pipe tobacco, Please sub this sub my channel. There's tons of uh, reviews of uh, beers and pipe tobacco on here. Okay, this one's called 44 Inside Regression with a Don't Come. Okay, we're gonna start out with our 300 like we always do, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bypass the come out. We're gonna do 44 inside. As they hit, we take it down and put a don't a don't come in. We do this twice and then we let it ride. Whatever happens, happens. Um, kind of like a little hedge. So let's get the come out rule past, past here. So we're at a nine. And we're going to do, I need change. We're going to do 44 inside. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're, that's what we're going to apply. Do 44 inside. As one of these hit, it comes down, go and ten dollars goes there, and then we as when we take another hit, we do the same thing, and we let it ride whatever happens till the guy's done. Okay. All right. So let's see what happens. We have a seven out. <laughs> That's cute, ain't it? All right. Let's start over. Five. Let's start over. Change. One's mine. And 40 more. Alright, see what happens. Crap, nothing. Crap. Four. Nothing. Five, winner. 14, we take it down. Alright, so after we get past the come out, we'll put a DC up. 7, it's on the come out. 10, alright, we put a DC up. 8, now this is kind of what this strategy is about. We're going to win here. Okay, we take this down. This comes here. Now I hit, now we're against it. I want to put another one up and then we just leave it. Whatever happens, happens. Seven. So this loses, all this loses. The seven loses here. Now we're going to win ten here, so we lost twenty-one. Okay, it's better than losing forty-four, right? But we're still losing. That's... <laughs> You're just prolonging the agony here. Okay. 44 inside. There we go. Now. Seven! Beautiful, isn't it? Cold table, this don't work. I'll tell you that right now. Crap. Five. I'm going to need some change here. So let's get some change. I need white. One goes to me. Four goes on the table. And one goes to the bank. Alright. We get past this. Eight. In there. All right. Ten. This is going to go to the ten, but we didn't hit here, so that's nice. That's a good number to be behind. Nine. I'm going to pay one. Pick this up, and then put fifteen in the rack. Actually, fourteen you put in the rack. Six. Okay. So we hit here. 
one more. And what's going to happen, we're going to take this down because this is going to go here. And most likely I'll play the 8. What I'll do is I'll play the 8 just to have 2 and 2. And whatever happens, happens. 6 down behind. We just keep playing. Um, that's a 9. There's nothing there. We're just going to keep playing. 8, 14. I mean, that paid for that. That paid for that plus some more. 6, nothing. Crap. 5. Pay 1. You leave it. I mean, you could press, but we're trying to keep it simple here. 10. That lost. So both hits paid for these two losses. So uh, we kind of got to kind of got to work a little bit more here. Six, we're not there. I mean, it, it's spread out. It's always the numbers you don't have. Oh, we have that one. So as long as this goes a little bit, which is six, if it goes a little bit. So yo, eight, three for one. You always want to have red in your rack, not white. Six. I should have left the six. Huh? I rolled four times. Five. You guys are probably like this idiot should be pressing, but I'm ahead on this guy. Another six. Another six. And seven finally. All right, so we did pretty good there. I, I gotta admit, we did pretty good. And um, let's do another round of this and see what happens. Six. All right, so we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Quick sevens always kill you. Let's try it again. We have a yo. That was a yo. If you didn't say it. That's a crap. And that's a five. So let's try it again. I need change for the white. And one goes to me. This goes there. And you know what happens. Number you don't have, or the worst. That number you don't have, and then the seven. So, this is one thing I do. It's real rolling here. This is what you see when you go to the crap table. Okay? This isn't no... Let's pretend this number came out. Let's pretend that number came out. I'm not doing that. I'm showing you what the strategy is with real rolling so you know what to expect when you go gamble. And there's another four. There's a ten. So the two numbers we don't have. An eight. We actually have that. So we're going to take this down and do the DC. Okay. Eight. Easy enough. Seven. That's going to win there. This is lost. So we didn't lose that much. It looked like we did, but we didn't. But we won here on the eight, which pulled in 14. Then we turned that eight to 20. So we won 24. But we lost 10, 20, 32. So it wasn't that bad of a lot. The quick sevens kill you. The quick sevens kill you. So let's do another round of this. Six. And one another. Any change? 
one of these are going to go to white. Okay. All right. Ten. I'm sure four is next. Nope. Crap. Nine. Okay. Okay, one. Ten goes there. Six. Winner. Okay. So what happens here is this comes down. Oh, this goes there. This goes off. This goes here. And when the DC comes around again, we'll put it up. Ten. Put the DC up. Let's see what happens. We have a nine. So this is going to go to a nine. Now this is actually a zigzag here. Now, or, now this is where you just leave it and just see what happens. Which we got there once. Nine. You know, it figures, right? Probably six will roll. And then, then we'll go out. Because that's the luck we're having today. Nine. Five we hit. 14. Okay. 10 winner. Which that doesn't mean nothing. So this is the come out. So this is on. 6. <laughs> and you know what happens. 7. <laughs> so there's your luck at that. Um, it's a lot of back and forth. And, uh, and what can I tell you? It's just it's something to toy with, and if you like it, um, there's always a, a good set of numbers for each strategy, and there's always a bad set of numbers that can come out for each strategy. So, what you need to do is limit limit your intake on your strategies. I'm just adding up what we got here. I, I hope there's 200. It don't even look like there's 200. 75, 85, 90, 3. And we're down another 35% roughly. So, um, you can come back. You know, I try to keep these, you know, within 15 minutes or so. You can come back and, and get your money back and then go past it. Or you can just go bust. I mean, anybody who's played the crap table knows, knows how those sevens are, knows, you know, even if you're playing with the seven, that they start rolling the damn numbers against you, so, um, these are just strategies and different ways you can play, and this is actual rolling, this isn't, like I said before, let's pretend this number came out, you're going to win all this money, that's not what this, these crap strategies are about, at least mine, so, um, flat out rolling, flat out chip counting, and that's, that's how I do it. So if you have any ideas, any strategies you play, you want to see it, PM me, and you're like, well, play this one and see how it works. I'll be gladly to do it. I'll be gladly to do it. PM me with the, with the strategy, and we'll, uh, we'll work it out, and, uh, you can see it played, played right here on this table. And uh, that's how that will work. Uh, like I said, anybody into craft beer or pipe tobacco, please sub the state, sub the channel. There's steady stuff going up on that topic. So please, if you have any idea, shoot me a PM. Any new strategies? All right. All right, everybody have a good uh, good day, and uh, everybody take care.